I just want to let you know that that whole truth thing you was telling me about does not work. Coretta won't take no for an answer. You can either spend the rest of your life hiding, or you can make a stand with Coretta. You right, Mr. Hightower. A man's got to do what a man's got to do. I'm gonna be in the closet. <laughs> if you decide to go to the cafeteria, bring me up some chocolate milk and some cheeses. What's going on, y'all? This is Antone. Crime Time with Tone coming at y'all with another video. For today, I got a special one on the murder of actor Merlin Santana. Y'all may know him as Romeo on Steve Harvey's show. So, on November 9th, 2002, uh, 26-year-old Merlin Santana and his best friend, former childhood actor star, Brandon Adams um, had met a girl at a party um, at a, another location uh, not here where they originally or they initially ended up but met up had a party somewhere else and they met a girl at the party a young girl by the name of Monique King who was 15 years old and as the evening got later they for some reason or another took the party over to Monique's house here on where I'm at right now on Victoria Street here in Los Angeles. So once they got here at the party here at the house at Miss King's house they had were here for a little bit and she supposedly left for briefly saying she was going to go pick up some drinks. So she left here and when she left she didn't actually go to pick up drinks. She actually left to when she left, she called a couple of guys over, um, one, of, one of which is her boyfriend. So two guys with name was Damian Gates, which was her boyfriend, and Brandon Bynes. And there's no, I didn't find any age on those two. Um, I'm guessing they're around the age of what she was. So she called them and so she arrived back at this house and once once she and the two guys was coming up into the home I guess Merlin and his friend Brandon had seen them and started to leave the house when they left they actually got into a vehicle um, they were about to leave so I guess they kind of knew some trouble was about to happen so got into the vehicle and when they sat down in the car two shots had rang off and one of them went through the trunk of the car and into the headrest of the passenger which was, which Merlin Santana was sitting at and killed him instantly the suspects had uh, fled right after and then Brandon who got in the driver's seat or was already in the driver's seat left and drove a little ways from here, less than a mile away at uh, intersection and kind of waved down for help. Uh, I guess the, he's seen a police officer. So this is the street where it happened. Um, it didn't have a specific house number, but from my research, it was one of these houses outside of here. He's kind of parked over here on the street. So one of these homes. So they ended up convicting them, finding them, and then convicting them. Um, the shooter got three consecutive life sentences and plus 70 years, his friend got 23 years, and then the young girl, Monique King, got 10 years in a juvenile center. So she's been out a while. But um, so those story uh, behind it of why this happened came out a little bit later. I think it was a couple years later. Um, the girl Monique King had actually lied saying um, Merlin and his friend Brandon uh, 
you know, sexually assaulted her or whatever, which came out that wasn't true. Um, and there's also part of the story that said, some story outlets said they also went to rob him. So I'm not sure about the robbery one, but for sure the story about the girl, she had told the two, her boyfriend and the other guy that these two guys, um, you know, sexually um, forced her to do things, which wasn't true. So either way, whatever the cause was, um, they went over there and that's why they shot and killed Merlin. So sad, sad outcome for young star played on Moesha, played on, like I said, Steve Harvey show, Sister, Sister. So he's on a lot of, a lot of things. Um, definitely can tell he's going to be a rising star. So unfortunate the girl only got 10 years in a juvenile center for that. Her lie, you know, only got her 10 years, but her lie forever changed the life of Merlin Santana. But that is it for the video today. So, till then, I'll let y'all next time. Like always, if y'all like the content, like and subscribe, leave a comment. I'll be doing more here bringing more content here in the LA area so I got some more high profile ones I'm going to be giving to y'all so I appreciate the time I'll holler at y'all next time